Hi everybody, this is Bronislava for Handmade Rukodělky. In today's video we will be focusing on a pattern like this. And this pattern actually is for a baby jumper. I will start you up with ribbing. All right, and then we will do a four row uh, pattern repeat. Uh, and I will do it first in continental style and then also in English style. All right, so that's the project for today. And then this pattern is going to be actually turned into a baby jumper. Here you can see how I am already uh, working on a uh, back of the baby jumper. I will cast on 33 stitches because this um, a project is for three months old baby. Uh, I will be actually writing a pattern for newborn through uh, one year old baby and uh, if you want a bigger uh, size or uh, size for a newborn you can purchase the written pattern okay it will be uh, on my blog and I will also uh, list the link uh, to my blog below this video so cast on if you're making this project for three months old baby cast on 33 stitches I will start this uh, first row uh, English style and then finish it with continental style a, a little bit for a change right so we will knit first three stitches one two three and then we will purl three stitches okay so we will put yarn forward and we will purl three stitches purl purl and purl that's three stitches now we will knit three stitches again okay so knit knit and knit and now we will purl stitches three again now I will show it to you in a continental style so I have one two three knit one two three purl one two three knit one two three purl and now we will do again three knit one two three and three purl one two three and three knit one two three and three purl and we're almost at the end that's three purl three and now I will finish the uh, those three are supposed to be knitted but I will knit knit and slip last stitch okay so knit knit and then the yarn needs to be over here in the front in order to slip the stitch okay because we will be knitting through the back loop the first stitch second row we're supposed to start with pearls pearl pearl but the very first one we will knit through the back loop just knit it through the back loop and now we will purl so yarn forward right and we will purl two stitches one and two this is our edge stitch okay now we will knit three stitches one two three and then continue just like that and three purl and three knit okay until the end of the row and I will show you again what I will do with the end 
and these are three knit stitches one two three and now these are supposed to be three pearl stitches but we always I always slip and you can do the same slip the last stitch okay so we will pearl stitch and pearl stitch and then the yarn has to be over here so we need to slip it okay we need yarn over here when you're slipping uh, the last stitch because when you turn around we will knit the first stitch through the back loop okay so we knit it through the back loop and now we have knit stitches again here so and we have two of them because this is first knitted stitch so two more one and two and now we will again purl purl these three stitches and then you should have three knitted stitches one two three so you knit three stitches and purl and continue like that again all the way to the end so I'm finished with my three purl stitches over here and I still have to do my last three stitches which are knit knit and slip okay so knit knit and yarn forward okay and slip it let me show you the fourth row in English style where we will uh, knit uh, actually purl first three stitches and purl last three stitches and in, in between we will do a three knit and three purl okay but the very first stitch over here we need to knit knit not purl knit through the um, back loop and then we will purl two stitches so let's bring this yarn forward and purl two stitches one and two and now bring the back the yarn and uh, and we will knit three stitches one two and three and now purl again so yarn forward and purl three stitches and continue like this all the way to the end uh, where you will purl two, la two stitches and the very last stitch we will slip okay and here we are with our last three stitches that we need to purl purl and very last stitch slip move yarn up oh, we have yarn forward so we don't need to move it we just go and slip it all right so now that we uh, uh, finished our fourth uh, row of ribbing three 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 knit and three purl ribbing we will knit our next row our fifth row we will knit first stitch is knitted through the back loop okay now we will knit regularly entire row un until we hit the last stitch in the last stitch we will slip okay we will just move it from one needle to another without knitting so knit entire row and then we will continue working on the sixth row okay last stitches and my very last stitch we will move we will just slip so we will move this yarn forward and move this stitch from this needle onto this needle without knitting okay our next row is going to be purled and again we will first start with knitting the through the back loop the very first stitch okay and then we will purl entire row 
So let's move this uh, yarn forward here and now let's go and purl entire row. Purl entire row and the last stitch again we will uh, we will slip, okay? Now the fun part starts, okay? Uh, we will do, we will repeat four rows. And I will show it to you first in uh, continental style and then I will show it to you one more time in English style. We will knit three stitches together. So place your needle through three stitches and knit them. Do not take these three stitches off the, this needle. Don't take it off, okay? Keep them on. Now move this needle back for, you know, when you're doing the continental style, right? Do yarn over, move the needle back forward and knit this, these three stitches, all three stitches together again. Okay, so basically what you did is first you knitted them together and you created only one stitch but then you added two stitches back on by doing yarn over and knitting it one more time. Okay, let's do this again. I have three stitches. I will knit three stitches together. Okay, I will place my tip through all three stitches. I will knit it. Now I will move my needle back. I do yarn over, knee, uh, move my uh, needle forward and I will knit this one more time. And I have three stitches back on again. Okay. So I'm not really losing any stitch by knitting them first time, all three together. And again, knit three stitches together. Make sure that you go through all three of them, okay? And make sure you do not split your yarn, okay? Now back, yarn over, forward, knit, and only then take those three off. Okay, again three stitches. Knit them all three together. Keep them on. Do yarn over. Do one more knit three together. Okay. And now you are ready to let go of those three stitches. So this is how it's going to look like. You're going to always have like three stitches like that, okay? And again, three together. Don't split your yarns and make sure you, you go through all three of them. Now yarn over, again three together and off those three stitches of the needle. Okay, continue like that all the way to the end. Three together, yarn over, three together and off. And this is my last one. Three together. You see I almost have these needles parallel next to each other so I can get in there, okay? Okay, so three together, yarn over, and three together. 
Okay. So that is the most difficult row in, um, in this pattern. Okay. The next three rows are very easy. Because we knitted um, these, th this last three stitches, okay, we did not slip our last stitch. We will slip it in a second row. We will slip our first stitch and we will slip our last stitch in the second row. Remember that. Only we slip two stitches on each end only in second row but we need to move this yarn forward before we slip it okay so now we will slip it and now we will purl all stitches purl every single stitch purl and purl and purl and purl. All of them except the last stitch. Do not purl last stitch. You will slip the last stitch. Okay, here I am with my last couple stitches. So I purled this one and remember I told you we will not Purl this last stitch, we will just slip it. Okay, we will slip it with yarn here in the front. Okay, so we will slip it and then we will turn around and we will knit first stitch through the back loop. Then we will knit all of these stitches except the last one, we will slip the last stitch. Okay. So knit all these stitches, knit, knit, all the way to the last stitch. So here I am at the end, we will knit this stitch and we will slip this stitch with yarn forward, okay? And now we will do one more row before we start the repeat of this pattern okay so we will knit first stitch through the back loop and now we will purl all these stitches and we will slip our last stitch so we will purl all the stitches here we are at the end purl all the stitches to the last and we will slip this stitch with the yarn in front okay so these are our four rows of the pattern and now we are ready to do pattern again which we will go and knit three stitches together yarn over and three stitches together okay and then this we will repeat that with all other three stitches okay I will show you now this uh, pattern, repeat of the pattern in English style, okay, and um, again we will start with three uh, stitches that you will put your needle through, all three of them, make sure that it goes through all three of them, and you will knit three together, okay, then you will do yarn over and then you will knit this one more time through all three of them okay 
So we have one, two, three, and now we will take it off. And we will repeat this again. I will put my needle through all three, next three stitches, and I will make sure that I go through all three of them. Okay, and again I will knit them together. Okay. Now, I don't take these three off yet. I will put my yarn over this way, go back and knit three together again. Okay, and now I am ready to take all these three stitches off. Okay, that's my second time. Now do it again. Three, one, two, three stitches. Put your needle through all three of them. Do not split your yarn on this needle. Knit it together. Don't remove these three stitches just yet. Do yarn over. Go back. Put it through the, all three stitches and knit it one more time. All three those together. Okay. Oops, I'm losing it. Okay, there it goes. And now we're ready to let them go. Okay. And again. Three. Knit them together, yarn over, knit them together, oops, oopsie, oopsie, one more time, oh, I'm losing everything, look at that, okay. So these need to go back on. Oh, I'm actually glad that this happened because I can show you what's happening, right? Okay, so we did two and we're doing now the third one. And they're nice and big, so it's going to be easy to go through them. Look at that. Oh, hold on one second. This needs to be back. Okay, so three together. yarn over, three together, and we're finished, and we're letting off, letting off those three stitches. Now again, three, knit them together, okay, yarn over, knit them together again, And let go. Looks like at our neighbors there are people working. So you're gonna be hearing lots of noise in the background because I have windows open. Okay, another one. Three together. Knit them together. Okay. Now yarn over. Now knit them three together again. And let go. So be careful, you you know, don't let go of this one so you don't lose your stitches. Just like I did before. Three together. Yarn over. Three together. And let go. Three together. Always put this uh, needle higher up so you don't lose these stitches. Okay? And you see I have the tip now higher up because I'm afraid that I will go and lose my stitches. 
and I'm holding these stitches with my thumb okay and knit and let go and again knit them together and yarn over and knit them together again all three of them and let go I think I need to go and close the window okay I did a couple of stitches because they are going to be quite loud out there and close my windows and these are my last three stitches that we need to do and we will knit them again together okay knit now we need to do yarn over knit them together again okay and we are ready to do our pearl pearl side so this pearl row is a repeat of row number two okay and if you remember if you watched actually my uh, continental style how I did it the first and last stitch are slipped and the the ones in between are purled okay so we will slip this stitch with yarn forward in front of us here and now we will purl all the stitches okay so you just go and purl all the stitches until you get to the last stitch okay make sure you do not crisscross them because sometimes they look kind of crisscrossed so separate them a little bit before you start purling okay so just purl all the stitches oops I didn't go I didn't purl it now I did with uh, English style that yarn over sometimes crisscrosses one of those stitches so make sure that you kind of separate them so they are not crisscrossed over here okay Okay, and we are here at the last stitch which we just slip now we are ready to knit our third row the repetition of the third row and as you remember from the continental style we will be knitting through the back loop and so knit entire row one more time I didn't do a good job here and knit entire row and this is gonna be very easy just knit all the stitches until the last stitch okay last stitch we will slip okay here we are at the end of our row last few stitches and again we need to slip this stitch with yarn in the front over here okay and now we're ready to purl this row this is going to be a repeat of the fourth row and this is going to be done in this way that we knit the first stitch through the back loop we purl all the stitches in between and we slip the last stitch so we will knit this one through the back loop and now we will move the yarn forward and we will purl all the stitches stitches to the last one and the last one is going to be slipped 
So purl all these stitches except the last. Okay, and we are here almost at the end again. And now this is our last that we slip. We do have yarn here in front, so we just slip it like that. And we are done with our second repeat. If you are knitting this project for three months old baby, I want you to do seven more repeats of row uh, of the pattern of row one through four and then when I do it seven more times I will show you how to do what to do next okay how to continue here I am back to show you what I have done uh, I have now total nine repeats if you count you should have nine of these holes one two three four five six seven eight nine okay and you should have finished with your pearl knit and pearl row after the uh, uh, ninth uh, last ninth uh, three togethers okay and now what we will do is we will do one more three together row and then one more pearl row okay and I will show it to you only in um, continental style because it's much easier on me to do that and you can replay um, if you are English knitter English style knitter then you can replay it from my beginning of the video okay so we will do the knit three together yarn over and knit three together and we will continue like this uh, all the way to the end of the row okay so uh, when I am finished we will uh, I will start you again with the uh, pearl row okay so knit three together over here okay yarn over knit three together and repeat repeat to the end of this row okay I'm finished with my row and we will do one more row where we will purl it but you remember we need to slip the first stitch of this row and purl the rest of the row until the last stitch which we will slip Okay, make sure that these uh, stitches are not criss crisscrossed. Let me see, is this one crisscrossed? Yep, look, this one is crisscrossed. Okay. And here we are, we just will slip the last stitch. So if you are knitting along with me, uh, make four identical pieces, okay? And um, our next video, I will show you how to knit back. I will use these two pieces for the back. And then in another video, in a third video, I will show you how to knit the front with these two pieces, okay? And then in the fourth video, I will show you how to uh, finish it with uh, sleeves, okay? This is the end of today's video. Uh, thank you very much for watching it. And uh, look out for, for my other three more videos to finish this jumper. And that's it. Have a good day and I will see you another time. Bye.